All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching The Eminence in Shadow, Season 2, Episode 6. Um, not much to say about this uh, last episode, other than the, we had Sid versus Shadow Garden, which was in, an interesting fight, or should I say John Smith versus Shadow Garden. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we sent the, the newest members, uh, from what I can tell, um, 664 to 666. Um, so they really could not deal with Sid. I don't know if anybody could really deal with Sid within Shadow Garden. Maybe send Alpha next time. I don't know. I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I guess that's going to progress. And we're going to have more of a clash. Because Sid, for some reason, won't tell his own goddamn group his plan. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, other than that, we had this, uh, this beast man again. Who kind of leads the... Whatever it's called, Alliance in the Shadows. Um... And now he's kind of making a move on stuff as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they were also uh, like coming up with the idea of wanting to make Carl money as well. I think they're going to do that now. So I guess we'll see what's going to happen. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, three of the elite numbers. So they're like the best of the best of the numbers then. What is this girl doing? As good as the seven shadows. Damn. Well, he is. She, she's not lying. What are they looking for? Looking all mischievous. Delta to deal with John Smith? Delta is going to immediately smell Sid, I feel like. If he can't, like, cover up his smell, I think he's she's going to smell Sid instantly. Electric carpet, magic powered carpet. What was that? <laughs> is this Delta? Oh my god. This is going to be a good battle. This is going to be a good battle. Why whenever Delta's on screen is it always cheeks? <laughs> oh shit, straight into it. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, we needed this. Sid versus one of the seven shadows. This is sick. This is fucking crazy. And he's trapped her. Done and dusted. She doesn't know it's Sid. Oh no! See! She does! I knew it! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> of course they'd sell the fucking hunting dog. Send the hunting dog to him. God. This is so funny. As if this actually happened. <laughs> Delta's so funny. I love her. I actually love her. Is she going to be able to keep this a secret, especially from Alpha? A super elite agent. <laughs> How is she going to be able to lie to Alpha? I do not, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it makes sense. He's the boss. She won't go mad, you just need to tell the Shadow said to do it. Why is she always mounting him, bro? <laughs> this dog does not know boundaries. Too much effort. <laughs> you're, you're limiting her choices here. <laughs> okay, see you later. I'm going to throw you out the stray now. Hunt Juggernaut? That's so mean. The Jugger Jungle. <laughs> Delta, you need to relax. I'm glad uh, Sid's such a nonchalant person. She's gonna beat Juggernaut's ass. <laughs> That's not fair. This man does not deserve what's coming. Now they're worried. Delta's lost. Oh, they think Delta's dead. Shit. Sid, why are you putting them through this? What the fuck? Sid out here giving his fucking group trauma and problems just because he's got a scheme to make money going. Alpha's pissed. Oh, an Alpha versus John Smith fight would go hard right now. 
I wonder if anybody else, like, in the shadows will be able to figure out it's uh, Sid, though. Because Delta could do it through scent. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I don't know who's the big bad right now, Sid or Alpha. <laughs> Did he just fucking... Why? Let me get a better look at it. Better look at his whole face now. You just be killing motherfuckers for no reason? God damn, bro. They probably had a family, you know? Is this Alexia or Beta? Oh, Alexia, wow. How is Iris not cold? I know her whole thing is like fire and shit with her sword, but like, damn. Cold, cold outside. Sid is really helping Alexia get better as a swordsman. That's crazy. Meanwhile, Iris is kind of flipped because Sid's just messed up her mind in the way of the sword. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Sid, you ever come out as like a better person than you were, like Alexia, or it messes you up like Iris? Close window when cold. <laughs> oh my god. Man's freezing. I need central heating. Help me. He's freezing. <laughs> Warm yourself up. There must be some kind of magic. Oh, about Delta. Oh, no. What could have happened? Oh, God. He's sweating. Look what you've done, you idiot. You're making your whole fucking group cry. Is she hibernating? No, <laughs> she's on your mission. About those notes. Such a complex code. Yeah, you're just writing it all kinds? Okay. Independently. No, because you'll steal it and make it a thing around the world. Oh, of course, that's what she's about to do. Beta, the copyright queen, is about to <laughs> publish this shit worldwide. Are they just going to blast through this with the train? Oh, okay, he saw it. Goodbye! Yeah, <laughs> Sid, you're so fucking cool. You're still a dumbass though, Fred Fresnel shift on this episode. Who's this? Alpha? Oh. Oh my lord. Here we go. Is Sid, is your dumbass plan really worth all of this? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm fighting Shadow. Oh, okay, she knew it. Yeah. She's got a brain in her at least. This fucking guy. She's alive, at least. And now she... Oh, wow. She's actually fighting him even knowing. I mean, she's mad. Why can't you just tell her what's going on? This is such a traumatic experience for Alpha. And this idiot's just, like, making it up as he goes along. That is not what she wants to hear right now. Come on, bro. Alpha is serious, man. Just let her in on the plan. I have to also consider as well that, like... Sid takes nothing serious. He doesn't understand that everything they do is real. Jesus Christ, Sid. So brutal. This poor girl, man. This is too much. You better apologize to them. Give them a real good reason for doing this at the end of all this. They don't deserve this, Sid. 
Uh, I get like he's going to ruin all these companies, including his own, to then start a new company of all this newly acquired wealth. But like, still, what he's done to a Shadow Garden is brutal. Shiva. And those were the only spirit fox to have free tails. Oh shit. Damn. What happened then? So it was actually like a happy marriage at, at, at the start? Oh, the fucking pills, man. God damn it. Why, bro? Why'd you become a dickhead? You were happy with a wife. You just wanted more power. This goddamn cult. Oh my god. What a piece of shit. I was just about to ask, how does he then get that big ass scar on his eye? But then we're probably about to be, about to, yep, about to see Sid. So when we first saw Sid in the flashback, I was like, oh my god, Sid, what have you done? He hadn't actually done anything. <laughs> if anything, he did something good. Is, is Sid even listening right now? <laughs> I swear to god. Well, she doesn't exactly want a fortune, she just wants to take revenge, so Sid can take the fortune, no problem. Right, so that was The Eminence in Shadow, Season 2, Episode 6. Um, that was a very good episode, however, I really was not impressed with Sid this episode, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, he's doing it for the, 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 the kind of greater good, I mean, it's for money. It's for Shadow Garden to improve their funds and whatnot, but like... Oh, it still sucks, like, the, the the feelings and the emotions of the people in, within Shadow Garden over like, a shitload of gold, like, I don't know, bro, he better f he better fix this situation, because Delta's fine, she's she's off somewhere having a good time. Alpha, trauma on, trauma upon trauma, right here, like, thinking she lost Delta, and then having her, uh, her master abandon her. And just like going back to how you know how she was in the beginning, like please don't leave me, please don't leave me alone. Sucks, really sucks. And if she reports back to everybody else in Shadow Garden as well, which she may, possibly, then it's going to get worse for everyone as well. So I don't know. He better he better resolve this soon. Um, he was being he wasn't fully thinking it through, mainly due to the fact that, like I said, he doesn't see everything that's going on in the world as a legit thing like everybody's just kind of making it like a drama and or acting about it so it's a bit of a tough one but uh overall though a very good episode i'm definitely looking forward to the next anyway guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think of the episode as well and uh peace out guys